it's Victoria Rose here. If you're new here, hi, it's nice to meet you. I am living in Japan now and I finally got my own place and I wanted to do an apartment tour for you guys. I couldn't wait. I just arrived yesterday but I moved all my stuff in as you can see from my poster. This is a trial for this shirt. I look like my mom going to church on Sunday morning. <laughs> We'll figure it out. Leave a comment below if you think I should keep it or toss it. I need to get some coffee before I start this tour because I'm really deficient in the caffeine area. There's like, seriously, I've made a video on this before. There's so many vending machines everywhere. I could step out and go like two feet and have a vending machine and get my cool coffee. Not only is this an apartment tour, this is doing laundry by myself in Japan for the first time. Tour. Like the more I wear the shirt, the more I'm skeptical. Guys, I need your help. Please leave a comment. I'm gonna chug this. When it turns into spring, summer, they turn all the vending machines cold. And during the winter, all the vending machines are hot, so you can only basically get cold coffee in the spring and summer. Um, my coffee spilled. Yeah, I changed my top. I, I decided I didn't really like the other one, but I'll give it another go later on in my life. I, maybe next week. Let's begin this apartment tour. So you get this is the front door. It's an apartment, but it can also be kind of like an Airbnb. So that's why there's like signs and stuff on the walls. And this apartment, to my knowledge, is brand new. Like I don't think anything's been used. Let me tell you, all accommodation in Japan is very small. This was around 20.8 meters. In the pictures, it looked like pretty big. I'm like, wow, this is a pretty big space, but it's a lot smaller than the pictures. So remember that if you ever rent in Japan. So to begin the apartment tour, this is my closet. And this is all the clothes that I brought with me from America. So let's start at the bottom. Bottom is shoes. You cannot wear shoes. You have to either wear just socks or slippers. It came with slippers, whoa. I prefer the not wearing slippers look because I think slippers are ugly. The non-slipper look is like really in for me right now. This is my pairs of shoes, I got some boots. This is just some sponsorship stuff I need to do. Okay, so this is my leg bag, which I use for kind of like my purse slash wallet. And this is my book bag. This is just pants and this is tops. And that is basically everything in the closet. So then you walk in more and then to your right here, what I find really odd in Japan is how many bathroom spaces they need. Like in America, for example, you put the toilet, the shower, and the sink all in the same room. But here, there's like literally three different rooms and there's not enough space for three different rooms. Somehow they make it work, but it's weird because I prefer to have my toilet next to the sink. You know what I mean? Like if I want to run the water for any particular reason, I can, but here it's just, you can only sit in silence in your own little cubby. I'm really excited about the toilet here though because I have a fancy toilet day. <laughs> which story time, by the way, I was in a 7-Eleven and the day, which they have most everywhere here. Um, the stop button was broke. You turn this on to put water up your butt or your vajay and then you, it just like squirts up in there and it's like, and you do it to freshen up, you know, it doesn't have to be after a poop. I'm not saying I poop, I'm a girl, I don't poop. I'm a foreigner, like I'm a guy and I still find these things really fascinating so I like to use them when I find them. The stop button was broken and I'm like fucking pushing it and pushing and pushing it and I pushed all the buttons on the pad. So I'm just sitting there with this bidet just drowning my butthole and I'm just like, <sighs> On the toilet, I can't get up. I'm immobilized because like if I get up, it's gonna squirt everywhere and the next person that goes in is gonna know. I have to get out of here. There's people in line waiting for me. Not my proudest moment. I figured out that you can like stand up and it'll stop, but uh, that took some time for me to figure out. Humility is a virtue. So anyways, this is my toilet cubicle. The tiny little trash it's so funny. Let me just show you how it works. Um, you, so that you wanna come to the bathroom. You can't turn it on unless you Oh. Oh, yes. No. <gasps> fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, you know what? I didn't know that. Okay. <clears throat> I also learned 
learned that you don't have to be sitting on the toilet for it to squirt everywhere. It comes with a washing machine and it's very common in most places for them to have a washing machine. They, they just stuff it in the corner most of the time. They just stuff things everywhere and it works and it looks fine. And they have no dryers here. So I will show you how you do that. It looks like this. They all kind of look similar. So let me get my translator app. Power. Okay, yeah. So this is turning it on and this is actually starting it. And then you can kind of see by the pictures here how full your load is. So I'm trying to throw all my laundry in here and hope for the best. Wait, which one was on? On. Cool. I'm scared. Dehydration. I don't want to dehydrate my clothes. I'm confused. Standard blanket, speedo dry, waffle, powerful e-tank clean, favorite. Well, this translation is not working very well. This makes absolutely no sense. I don't want to just guess, but what's the worst that could happen? Oh, what's that mean? But I'm so confused. I want to be a strong, independent woman and do this myself. Three hours? No. No. Wind dry? Whatever. Okay, you know what? This is gonna. If this ruins all my clothes, I'd be really, really sad because I don't have a lot of clothes. Is this some detergent? <laughs> Why is it so small? <laughs> no. No. What the fuck? You can't. It says four hours, I think. Um, hope that's not the case. Don't really need a four hour wash. Oh, sorry. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. I'll just let that run and ruin my entire video in the background. It's really loud. <laughs> it's a good time to do it. So while that's running obnoxiously loud, let's do a tour of the rest of the apartment. I mean, it's coming along in. Oh, well, I want to get my belt on, but it's too late now, you guys already saw me without it. What's the point? This is the main room. And it looks like I'm in a doctor's office because of my posters, but this is because I'm learning anatomy and muscle structure for my personal training. And I got these before I left, so it's all in English. Well, supposedly it's in English, but like who knows with these types of words. I don't know what that language that is. <laughs> I brought my ring light with me and my speaker, very essential. I have a Bible and I brought my Bible in there. And then I put everything, like I said, everything's so tiny in here, it's tiny little drawers. And then I have my Polaroid camera and some stuff there. There is another closet right here, but it has like a huge futon down here, so it's not a lot of space. I just hung up my jackets and have a box of my underwears in there. We have a nice lamp here. This is the bed. I'm so excited to finally sleep on a bed. A lot of times in Japan, people sleep on futons. Okay, so this is the big window. There is construction going on outside, but I'm really grateful for the lights. So in this room, it has the kitchen over here. This is my bed area. Then you get up and you walk over to the kitchen area. Don't, don't mind my office. So this is my computer, my iPad, my phone, my tripod. And then down here I have my headphones and my other camera. So this is everything I need for like editing and stuff like that. And this place comes with free Wi-Fi. So another thing here in Japan, and there's like so many things, I don't know if I can cover all in this video, but things are different here. Um, they do have tons and tons of like packaging and waste and stuff like that, but they are way better with recycling than we are. So let me show you the trash can here. This is the trash can. You have the burnable, the non-burnable, and the recyclable. So this is the garbage can. It's pretty nice. I'm really bad with recycling. I'm still learning. I'm not really good at it, but it comes with some nice tissues. Here's all my vitamins and my protein. They have these things in the walls just about recycling and stuff. The stove area, there are no ovens in Japan apparently. Uh, well, not a lot anyways. This is like an intercom system. At the very bottom, you can see people in the video and it's also the doorbell you can answer it and talk to them outside we kind of set that up this is oh i gotta turn that off that this is hot water you have to turn the hot water on and off here and adjust it here even though you can adjust it in the sinks too but they have a whole system for weird stuff like that so this is the fridge it's a good sized fridge for japan um i don't have a lot of cool stuff yet but got some almond milk some yogurt that i thought was chocolate but it's really bean flavored Okay, I just have to say, the fuck, Japan. Why do you do that to me, though? It don't be that way. You tricked me with bean flavored. I wanted chocolate. Okay, but I'm not complaining. I think it's cute. <laughs> I also made rice last night. So the rice cooker keeps the rice for days. So you can keep it for days. And then up here, I just have some more random stuff. I have rice, 
more protein and some seasonings yeah. kettle there and then it comes with cultry is that what you call it i don't know cultry is the cutting stuff isn't it this has a really sharp knife in here it's like super sharp i've never had such a fancy knife so this is a really nice and spacious kitchen compared to a lot of Japanese kitchens. I'm really excited to do some cooking stuff here. One of my next videos is going to be cooking sushi in Japan. I've never cooked sushi, I've never done sushi, but it's going to be vegetarian sushi. So leave a comment if you're excited about that. I'm just scared to go back here. I don't know what this washer is going to do. Please don't run for four hours. I pray that that does not mean it's four hours. This is my mirror. This is the little area of the sink and the washing machine. That's my makeup up here. And then in here, comes a nice blow dryer. And then I have all my fancy stuff. I have some lotion that I got, it's body milk. And I got some perfume here for 10 bucks and it smells so good. It's like just the scent I was looking for. And I brought this from LA, but it's not as good as my $10 perfume. And this is hair oil. And then, this is another fun tum fun, fun tum tip fun tum tip fun time tip. Use guy razors even if you're a girl because they overcharge you for the pink color. They also make the razors not work as well. I don't know why. Maybe because we have more area to shave. But guy razors I've always found work the best. So I use guy razors to shave. Fun tum time tip. And then this is one of the most interesting places here. Oh, here's another thing where I don't know what anything means, but I kind of figured it out. This is really hot air that's in here. I think it's just to dry everything out, but I don't know why there's so many different settings. I'll figure that out more later. This is the shower bathroom. So the thing with this room is if you're tall, if you're like 6'1 and above, you maybe 6'2. Haptic stood in here and his he couldn't stand fully because it's so, it's just a small area. I'm gonna step in here and show you. As you can see, there's not a lot of room. This water pressure is amazing. Um, the water is great. I love the water. <laughs> this is the fan system up here that dries everything out. And that's my face wash. So it's a small area, but it's super cute. And I'm short enough to where I have no issue at all. You just come in here and you shut this. And then you have your little I'm still not sure where I'm supposed to hang my, my wet laundry. I'm gonna hang it in here and then kind of turn on the Hey, pipe it down back there! <laughs> this is the place you're supposed to hang it. It's weird. Like, I don't get it, because like, why would you hang the laundry over top of the bed? But maybe, maybe the washer dries the laundry out so much that there's no drippage. This is the pool, apparently, that goes there. But these things are super common in Japan. You just open them up and you clip all your laundry there and dry it, and then it dries. And also, I don't know how they did it, but they fit like f five different doors in this tiny apartment. Door door. So this is it from the corner. Door. 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 Um, door. <laughs> that is my Japanese apartment tour. Leave a comment below. Would you guys live here? I already went through all the pricing and everything in my last video, but this cost around $1,000 for rent, and but also you had to add in utilities and cleaning fee, which comes out to like $1,300 to $1,400, which isn't bad because it's temporary, there's no contracts, I do it month to month if I want to, so it kind of evens out. It's not the biggest apartment, but it really works for me and I really like it. It's so hard here sometimes to think and function because I always feel like there's people around. It's tight quarters and that's just how japan is there's a lot of people if you guys wonder how to move here and how to do all of this or how to even get cheaper accommodation check out my last video because i have it all in there so i'm gonna go and i will update you on my laundry situation <laughs> so stay tuned for that i know you guys are dying to know what happens okay so we're back in business and i think i figured out this laundry situation i do believe it was gonna do this thing for three hours but the three hour thing it's gonna do is spin around and dry the clothes isn't that kind of cool like it can be kind of like a dryer too minus the heat so i stopped it because i was getting impatient i'm like i don't know how much electricity this is taking up good news is is that it won't drip like there's not enough water in for it to drip so i can hang it above the bed if i want i know you guys are so interested in my laundry expeditions Okay, we're putting up this pool, and our pool is up. <laughs> I don't know if it's that great of a feature because it's like 
always hanging down in the apartment. So that's how you do the laundry. And I will um, hang up some laundry for demonstrative purposes. So we're gonna hang up like this, like this. Totally got cut off there, but I hope you like my laundry demonstration. But I have to end this video because it's gone on way too long. I hope you enjoyed my apartment tour. Leave any questions or anything down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. The next video will be something like, uh, something cool, probably. Most likely knowing me. <laughs> I'm sorry that like everything is such a weird, uh, awkward struggle with me, but this, that's what you get. Stay extraterrestrial. Okay, bye-bye.